Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be going over my initial thoughts of Hogwarts Legacy, hopefully within five minutes or less. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be some spoiler footage that's up above. So if you don't want spoilers, make sure you're not looking at it. There's not going to be any real editing to this. So uh, with that in mind, keeping like I'm not going to be editing points because I'm doing this on my lunch hour. So you guys will get a consumer point of review from me and just some random footage that's up above. So without further ado, let's get into it. My name is Gumarak, and if you like what you see today when it comes to my Hogwarts review or anything else that you like for that matter, hit that subscription button and hit the bell notification to know when I put up a new video. Upload times are rather random at the moment, but we'll try to have one out every Wednesday if we can. The TLDR to this is that the game is amazing, and I believe it is a contender for Game of the Year for 2023. It is very well designed. I haven't had any crashes, I haven't had any frame drops, and I'm playing in a windowed mode and pushing my system rather hard. I had everything on Ultra, which kind of taxed me out on a 5950X in either to stream it and play it on a single PC, so be wary that the this will test your system, but it also has a built-in benchmark, so that's kind of expected. Combat seems fluid enough to be able to keep you entertained throughout it and not seem overly frustrating because it's too easy or too complicated. But there are some patterns within the monsters or, and NPCs that you do have to learn in either to maintain your health, otherwise you wind up swallowing a bunch of uh, health potions. If I had to register one complaint for the game is that the year it, I really wish there was a system that showed you where to go when you're tracking a, a quest on the ground as opposed to your minimap because looking at your minimap to see where you're going takes your eyes off the scenery and what you're doing which could result in you running into things or missing stuff. So far what I found additionally to that is that the game is not easy to play on a mouse and keyboard if you are somebody that has to use a special setup. I have to use a trackball mouse and using a trackball mouse has wound up being rather difficult in some things like stirring the kettles for the potions and things of that nature so you can expect some complications with the game if you're not playing it on a controller. Controller is definitely where it's at for this game. Environment design and sound design in the game are top-notch. I believe this is probably where their awards will go for game of the year this year. If they don't get the entire package, they will definitely get it on sound design and uh, for world design. Whoever the team was that handled the world design for this game knocked it out of the park. I have yet to find anything really that's out of place uh, that was a game breaking but there's a few things like statues that are talking that their lips don't line up and so forth but other than that the game's pretty solid when it comes to content you can tell that there it, it doesn't seem to be much content in the game until you look at the world map the world map then expands out like um for example skyrim did and it's quite large and there's a lot to do in the game they quoted a 30 hour campaign, but I can't see completing this in 30 hours for the average player. Things to do in the game range from doing the main storyline to side tasks to puzzles that you can find throughout the game. The one thing I can tell you for certain is make sure that you are doing all of the side slash missions and or collection things that you have because collecting stuff inside this game is massive experience. To wrap up my first impressions that are initially good for the game, uh, and I'll be playing it again tonight on the 8th at 8 p.m. Central tonight. So make sure you stop over there on Twitch to see me, and you can ask more questions about the game if you want to get a more detailed answer. But this one is a buy. This is, a, this is an absolute buy. Make sure that you're picking it up and playing it all the way through, and don't skip anything on it, and I think you will find hours and hours of content that I enjoy on this one. Thank you for checking out my initial first impressions or five minutes or less on this video and then we'll try to do a more detailed review at a later date for right now i'm playing it live so if you want to see more action make sure you do come by and see me live i'll see you guys on the next one i love all your faces remember to tell your loved ones you love them often peace look from the forbidden forest hippogriffs I wonder if something oh my God. them. 
I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Just wild hippogriffs just fucking running around. 